Alex? What's up, man? Jason? What are you doing here? Yeah, I came over to bring uh, Alana's Bible back. She left it in my car. Dude, are you okay? Why wouldn't I be okay? And I told you to leave my sister alone. Well, for one thing, that right there, man. I've known you for at least two years. I've never seen you pick up a beer before. How long have you been drinking that? Um, about an hour. An hour. You drunk. Three beers in an hour. Four now. I need another beer. You need Jesus. I'm sorry, what? I'm sorry, what? Did you say that I need Jesus? Oh, since you be going to church now, you're more holier than me, huh? Yeah, we known each other for two years. And yeah, you never see me pick up a beer, but we all go through tough times. And we need something to help them to get them through it. Yeah, let me drink this beer and let the alcohol go into my body and poison me. And better yet, when I get done drinking these rest of these beers right here, I just go down to the store and just buy me another case of beer, huh? So what, you, you think you're, you're more holier than me? That you know that I'm doing wrong? and What, huh? Look, man, I'm not going to fight you, all right? Okay? I just see... I can see that you're going through something right now. And I'm, I don't know what it is. And I just see that you're just using alcohol to cope with it, you know? You're using it to counter whatever you're going through in your life right now. Just talk to me, man, and, and I can help you. So what? So, so now you want to talk to me about my problems? Huh? What? It's going to be about Jesus? Is it going to be about God? Huh? Look, the only thing I need to help me is alcohol right now. And that's the same reason why I didn't want you around my sister. Because I knew you was going to drag her into all that church stuff. Um, yeah. Honestly. It's about God. It's about Jesus. Look, man. There's alcohol right here. It's it's not what you need. I just I see you right here. You're you're killing yourself. You're saying that you want to drink alcohol. You want to drink the poison of it, and then you want to go and get you some more alcohol and drink more of it. You just you're just killing yourself, man. Look, that's one thing about maybe having a drink or two here every once in a while. But you're just you're killing yourself, man. That's not one. I don't want to see you do this, and that's not what you need. What you, what you need is you need. You need the word of God, man. You, God's the only one that's gonna pull you through it, man. Well, I can see that you just you don't want to talk right now. I'm just gonna leave this here on the table for you. Well, Alex, just at least. Give it a shot, read it. I'm telling you, man, God is the only way. He's the only one that will help you. He's the only way, huh? Alex, I hope you're the right man. I need help.
Genesis. In the beginning God created the heaven and the earth. Alex? What's up, man? Hey, Jason. She's um, dropping Alana off from church. Yeah. Yeah, just, just saying bye. Just dropped her off and everything. And uh, how are you, man? I'm all right. Um, well, I just wanted to say I'm sorry about the other day and how I was and how I acted and uh, I mean, you know that's not me, you know, we've been birds for a long time and I know, I know we haven't been cool for like the past few months since you and Alana started dating and, uh, and everything and I just, I wanted to say I'm sorry and uh, I wanted to give you back a Alana's Bible, because you know, me and her hasn't been talking since y'all got together, and I know she don't want to see me since everything goes, so. Look, man, it's, it's cool. I, well, I was just trying to be a good friend, because I've seen one of my friends, you know, in a tough time, and I was just trying to help you out, and, you know, you don't have to apologize, you just found something that you thought that was, you know, help you cope with whatever you was going through but it's cool and uh you can I mean, you can keep you can keep the bible um a lot of knows about the whole situation and she wanted you to keep the bible you know she, since y'all not talking she wanted me to let you know and from a sister to a brother she wanted you to find god so i, I bought her another bible and you can keep that one and if you if you want man you know it's up to you Really? And I'm gonna have to talk to her. Look, man, I, I just wanna say thanks, you know. Thanks for talking to me. You know, over the past three days, I did read it, and um, it made a lot of sense to me. But, um, It got to me so much that I, I got I got down on my knees and I started praying to God and I felt what they call the Holy Spirit in here and what well, man I was just bro to bro I just started crying man you know and like I just I went through a bad breakup and uh, I just. Ever since then, my, my life has just been going downhill, you know, and being with someone for as long as you have and them just doing what, what they did to you. Well, I'm not going to get real into it, but I just, I read it and I felt it. I, I just want to say thank you and everything. You know what, man? I can't tell you how much that makes me happy it, to hear that, you know? To know that I know someone who was in such pain and going through so much to 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 find God, you know that's why I left the Bible with you, man. And that's I was really hoping you would read it, and I just kept on praying for you. And God came through, and I'm really happy to hear that, man. I really am. Thanks, man. I I really appreciate that. So um. I got a, I got one more spot down there at the church. We always have an extra spot, man. When'd you come on down? Sunday morning, ten o'clock. I'll be in the community church. We'd love to have you. I appreciate it, man. Thank you, a lot. Uh, look, uh, I better go talk to Alana and thank her for the Bible and uh, work things out between me and her. All right, man. Yeah, I gotta get going anyway, so. Uh, I see you at church Sunday morning, alright? Oh, hey, Angel.
You might want to clean up the bottles. <laughs> All right, man, take it easy. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. I've been reading it so much, uh, I forgot they were in there. All right, man, I'll see you at church. Oh, my gosh. Um, what's up, everybody? I am, like, super tired right now. I just got done, finished videoing uh, that video. Um, it is... 4.10 in the morning and I am like super tired and I ain't got about like 10 minutes left on my camera um I wanted to do this at the end of this video um basically describing the video so as y'all know I believe in God personally I believe in God and I don't care what anyone thinks about it I really don't care anybody can say what they want I could start preaching right now but <laughs> about that but it, it's 2 a.m. I'm tired, but um, I just want to give like a, a vague description of what this video is about. This video is about someone, which is Alex. Uh, as you can see, I still have his clothes on. Um, I still got the clothes out for it. Jason, uh, last what he was wearing, I, I didn't clean up. Like I'm, I'm super tired, but I wanted to do this before I finish this video. And um, anyway, so this video basically is describing someone who has not yet found God. And, um, and it shows how they look before they found God, before they found God. Um, so it shows Alex, it, um, Alex and Jason are pretty much, this is a random video that I came up with and that's how most of my videos start. Either I might have an inspiration of it, um, well, I feel like I sneeze. <laughs> um, but anyways, um. It shows Alex how he is before he found God with him um, pretty much going through a tough time. Uh, with it, uh, he said at the end of the video that he went through a bad breakup. So he didn't know how to cope with it. Uh, he's been with the girl for a long time and he found alcohol. Okay, so now I'm not bashing on alcohol. Um, I really don't really drink at all. I have but I, I don't really much anymore and um, I'm not bashing on it as long as you don't get wasted or like completely wasted or drunk on it if you had one every now and then um, okay I mean even Jesus drank wine he turned water into wine so it's just like basically like, like Alex was doing with pretty much killing himself with it but um, in the video he was you know he was killing himself with the alcohol and he was telling Jason that like he didn't even care. It was as if like he wanted to like just you know. I don't want to say not live anymore, but he just wanted something to cope with the pain. And um. So Jason was, who believed in God. Um, was telling him, you know, basically just telling him what he should do, or the right way to go. You know, us as Christians, we we don't we don't we're not gonna force God on you. That's not how it works, not at all. Um, we just want to tell you, and it's your choice on whether or not to where you want to choose to follow God or not. So, and you can see how he is before he found God, and after him reading the Bible and everything. It shows how he is after God. He's more calm, he's more collected, he's more nice, and he wants to go to church. Now, you don't, of course, you don't have to go to church to go to heaven. All you got to do is say Jesus Christ into your heart as your Lord and Savior and believe in him that he died on the cross for your sins and you go to heaven. But it's, it's good to go to church because you're going back to uh, a place where other people who um, believe in God, you know, it helps them out. Okay, so I have one minute. It is about to die. Like, I don't know, within a little bit. It is about to die. But anyways, I just want to get that out at the end of this video and explain it. And I hope y'all enjoyed it. Y'all have a blessed day.